focus that you guys had during writing just now because we need to get through studying because test tomorrow. All right. I'm going to throw out, instead of just going right back over the study guide, I'm just going to throw out some things and see if you guys can tell me the answers. Okay? Can we do it before so, we have to keep our study guides flipped over so we can't look at them? Like that. That's up to you. If you studied a lot and you want to try and do this without the study guide, go for it. I think that's a great idea. If you have not studied yet. Um, I haven't studied over the weekend, but me and Parker have studied this morning. Okay. Yeah, um, Josie, yes, ma'am. I see your hand raised. Um, well, um, remember, we have five of the questions that, on our thing that we don't have. I know, but I'm going to just go over the test today. And so, because I think some of the things on the study guide weren't directly on the first. So, I mean, we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Um, Kendall, yeah. You better go quick because we are, like I said, we're studying. If you miss studying, you miss studying. Like, yeah. it is what it is. I'm not waiting. Okay. All right. Well, nope. I'm going to present because we're going to start with a. Are you using Chromebook now? No. No, you better not even have Oh, one. I love this. No, I'm sorry. All right, right, guys. I am going to point to a specific country on this map that you are supposed to memorize and know where it is. You have choices. Germany, Great Britain, France, Italy, Poland, Soviet Union, Austria, and Hungary. We're going to start with this islandy country that's circled out here. Raise your hand. Do not shout it out. Kaylee. Great Britain. Great Britain. Woohoo! All right. Below Great Britain, this big country right here. Josie. France. France. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. I don't know what the brights are having for dinner, but you win chicken. Um, all right. What about this big guy? Up here, Riley, Germany, the bad guy that kind of kicked things off. All right. Um, what about the big guy over here? Oh. Sean, Germany? No, Germany's this guy here in the middle. Big, 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 big guy. Parker, the Soviet Union. Soviet Union. And, it's like Russia. Who's this big guy in between oh, Soviet Poland. Union and Germany? Oh, Jason. Poland. Poland, good. Okay. Germany, Poland. Poland, and the Soviet Union. All right, going down below Germany and Poland. I did not ask you to memorize this long guy here, but the two below. The guy on the left, as you're looking at the map, is... DJ. Hungary. I think. No. Austria. Oh. Austria. And Austria. So where is Hungary? Right next to Austria. Right, right next. On the right. And do you know how I remember which one's Austria and which one's Hungary? Austria, and Hungary. They're in alphabetical order, left to right. Austria and then Hungary. Or it's A H. Like basically. Right. A H. They're in order. Right. Um. What's this one way down here? This pokey one at the bottom. Pokey. Sam. Italy. All right, that was it. That was all the countries you needed to know. Most of you were like on it. Yeah, I don't know I if you were that. studying your map all weekend or what, but that just so made me much. crazy That's happy. My part. Do what? That was your That's favorite my part? favorite part. I studied that so much. You guys are going to have so many maps in sixth grade. So if you could memorize this, then you guys are like set for sixth grade social studies. Um, Josie. Um, I studied um, for an hour each day. Each day. So if I raise my hand, every single one. Single one. That's why. I know, but I wanted to give other people a choice, a chance. Um, Grace. Yes, ma'am. Your turn. Um, is, um, I'm gonna go I'm, to the second tomorrow. Is it okay if I take the test? Yeah, you can take the test with Miss Beckett. That's fine. Okay. Absolutely. I think she's got a copy of it already, actually. All right. Now. 
Let me look here. How did, and this is a raise your hand, how did the roles of women and African Americans change because of the war? I don't have to press up this. Zeke. Because the Selective Service Act, the men went off the war in the draft. And then um, they were the ones that usually worked in factories, the white men, and um, on farms and stuff. So the women and the um, African Americans had to step up and fill in those holes, and they liked it. And when the men came back, they um, like the women and African Americans wanted to keep doing it. So All right, so they started getting more opportunity because with the white men gone to war they were able to fill those roles in different jobs and have different opportunities that they would not have had had the white men all still been around. What's and some of the African-Americans got to get a word too in their special... And so then they did have... The, yeah, you're right. African-Americans did go to war, but they had to stay in... Do you remember what that was called? The, um, Segregated units. I don't know if you need to necessarily know that. But you mentioned something else, the Selective Service Act, which was, yeah, Parker. A draft that made people from 21 to 30. Oh, no, 18. No, he's right. Yeah, it was the act that required all men from ages 21 to 30 to have to register and go to war. Good. Um. What is the Lusitania? Fiona. The Lusitania is a British ship that like fun like party boat thing ship, and it was traveling. It was traveling from Britain to USA, back to Britain, and it was on its way back to Britain. And when it was doing that, um, they didn't think that a German U boat or anything was going to do anything to the ship. But it wound up blowing up the ship and um, with U US natives on it. And US got mad and declared war. All right. Could you guys hear Fiona? Okay. She nailed it. Um, Lusitania was the British cruise ship. It was on its way back to Great Britain. Um, it had British and United States passengers on it. They didn't think anything would happen, so they headed back home. Even though they had been threatened, they went headed back home, and the German U-boat blew it up, killing Americans and British, and so that made America quite angry. What was the thing that set America over the edge and said, we're in this. We're in the war now. It wasn't the, Lus the Lusitania was a big part of it, but there was one more thing. Sam, what was it? Um, the Zimmerman Telegram. The Zimmerman Telegram. Tell me about the Zimmerman Telegram. What did that say? It was something the German. It was a telegraph the Germany sent to Mexico, which Brit, which Great Britain intercepted, and it was saying that if you went and fought America, you could have Texas, Arizona, and yeah, New Mexico. New Mexico yeah. Nailed it. Um, Zimmerman telegram, Germany sent this telegram to Mexico saying, <laughs> go invade the United States and you can have Texas, Arizona, and New Mexico. And Germany gets to give them our states. And, yeah, Germany's not allowed to give out our states. Um, but, but Great Britain intercepted the telegram and they told us what Germany was trying to do. And so America was like, that's it. We've had it. Germany, you're in trouble now. We're coming. What is the name of the day that celebrates the ending of World War One? Sean. Armistice Day. Armistice Day nailed it. I don't know where your thing is, but just pay attention and you should be good. What does 14 points mean? If I say 14 points, what does that mean? Um, Lily. Woodrow Wilson's peace plan. Who was Woodrow Wilson? Oh. Jason. President. President of United States. United States. Oh yeah, United States. During World War One. Yeah. Okay. War Josie. And the goal then the was to end World War One and for lasting peace. For lasting peace. You bet. What was the name of the document that officially ended World War One? Please. 
Parker. The Treaty of Versailles. There's a bunch of letters in there that you don't even have to say. Yeah, like Treaty of Versailles is how you say that. French words have a lot of extra letters that half the time you don't even pronounce. Um, they don't misuse it. They just use their alphabet in a different way. Um, I took two years of French in high school. <laughs> no, it did not. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, my sister watch, my sister watches. All right. Uh, she puts the audio in. Why were alliances important at the start of the war, DJ? It gave them kind of like teams, so they were all on each other's side. So like, like there's like the yellow and like the red, so they were fighting against each other, and most of the people on the yellow side would fight against the people on the red side. And most people on the yellow side would team up with more people on the yellow side. Type then they wouldn't team up with people on the red side because they already were in alliances. And like, it's kind of like if like two friend groups got into a fight, all the like, people on one side of the on one friend group would be on the same team and fighting. And right. It allowed players. them to kind of have teams, um, so that they weren't necessarily just um every man for themselves every country for themselves uh z so it's the jason kind of and then um another thing is it made uh more countries like declare war on other countries because like if the so we know that serbia and russia were an alliance and serbia was the one that got mad and uh overacted and then russia's like Oh, we like Serb Serbia, so we want to be in the war, too, to defend Serbia. And right, then, so sometimes they just joined up. They wouldn't then, have joined up, except that they had to because their buddy country was, was joined up. And then France right. was, and then France and Britain were like, we, and it, Italy later, but they're like, we like Russia, so we don't want to defend them. And then. Right, um, they joined up to help defend their friend countries, kind of. All right. Wait, who's friends in the country, though? Okay, so what do you mean who's friends in the country? How you are going to need friends? to know what makes who's on the central and who's on the allied powers. Um, so remember, central powers, I remember this because they're central. They're in the middle of the map. They were the red team. Central powers. Um, is United States central or allied? Allied. Russia. Allied? Allied. allied. Great Britain, Allied. Ottoman Empire, Central, Central. Austria Hungary, Central. Central, Germany, Central, Central. Bulgaria, Central, Central. France, Allied. Allied. Okay. Um, who was the heir to the throne that got wasted to start this whole thing off? That's not a really nice way to put it, but yeah, wasted. Ah, <laughs> uh, Kendall. <laughs> Ferdinand. Yeah, Archduke Franz Ferdinand. I'm lucky dude. Um, well, it's lucky for us. Why didn't he go under like 24 hour protection after he got a bomb thrown What is the word that means the belief that your country deserves more success than others? Josie. Nationalism. Nationalism. Nailed it. What were the countries in the war competing for? Two things. Right. Land and power. Land and power. Why did trench warfare cause the war to drag on for so long, Sam? Stalemate. Stalemate. Yep. Stalemate. What? Explain that though. Where um no country will no team will like go over to try to fight they will just stay in their trenches. They just stayed in their trenches. And Why wouldn't they come shot. out of their trenches? Because if they did, they get shot. If they did, they would immediately get shot by the guys in the other trench. All right. How was World War One fought differently than the previous wars, Sean? It had like trench warfare, trench warfare, chemical warfare, tanks. Machinery, like, yeah, we had manufacturing, manufacturing that they made better guns, they had better guns, faster guns. They had better they stuff. Had better they had more ammo, they had more powerful ammo. More ammo is more powerful, yes. 
All right. There's some guns that are big. I dare say you guys are close to right. What is the name of the German type of submarine? Oh, wait. oh. oh it's it's a boat. boat. It's an A-boat. The A-boat. No, the U-boat. Battle Town. Get it together. Um. Wait, what about a W-boat? What is... Ooh. Oh, no. Then I know All right. Listen carefully, because you're going to confuse these tomorrow. One definition says an agreement nations make to support and defend each other. That's alliance. Another one says that's an alliance. You're right. Another one says an agreement between countries. Treaty. 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 Okay. The first one I said an agreement nations make to support and defend each other. Alliance. Agreement between countries. Treaty. Treaty. Okay. Give each other if you want to stay out of world events, what's the word for that? Jason. Um, oh. Neutral. No. Neutral, no. except that we gave it a different name. You're right with neutral, except that that's not what you're going to see. Cam nailed um, it. Isolationism. I do have a question. Yes. My question is, like, what if we do put neutral on a test? Because you're not going to because it's uh, a matching. Oh, okay. Situation. Question. Question. So, so neutral won't be a choice. Well, I have a statement. Um, Miss Beth. What? It's kind of like when your uh, parents are like, why are you isolating yourself in your room? Why are you isolating yourself in your room? You want to be by yourself. Exactly. Um, When a government sets limits on the amount of stuff its people can have. You can only have one loaf of bread each week and one gallon of milk each week. That's rations. Rations, good. We ran out of milk in like two days. Okay. okay. Um, what is the building of a strong military to frighten or defeat other countries? Parker. Oh, militarism. Militarism. Ding, dong, dong. Ding, dong, dong. All right. Virtual versus in person? In person? Um, Ooh, yeah. Really? Three yeah. people against a whole entire class? class? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to take that on? Wow. Sure. Let's sure. do it. Let's do it. Wait, what about team teams? Wait, what about team teams? Let's do it. Do your friends agree yeah. with you, Josie? No, no. Let's do ECP against kids against their No, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. um, I, okay, Cam and Josie are in. Grace, you got sucked into this. I hope you're ready. Um, <laughs> all right. Here we go. Um, because there are less of them, I'm gonna let them choose. That's, that's, that's first. fair. That's, that's fair. fair. That's All right. Not fair. Go for it, ladies. Cameron, what do you want? Mm -hmm. Or Grace? I don't really care. Someone to shout out. Mm -hmm. I mean, Grace was stuck in it, into it, so I think. No, we want them to discuss. I can't even hear what they're saying because you guys are talking. If it's not your turn, you're not talking. All right, girls, what do you choose? Josie, I nominate you to speak. Um, I think Grace said something. Here, I'll let her do it. I didn't hear what she said because I my said friends were talking. Because I don't really care. You um, then alliances. I'm about to start clicking on stuff. Alliances for 200. 200. I have the answer. They already have the answer. All right. Go for it. They started out on the Allied powers. Wrong. Miss Pad, you have to give us a chance to do it. No, it's only two choices. It's fine. We're just going to keep going so we can see more questions. They didn't get their points. All right. 
Yeah, you guys are my first Oh, oh yeah, I need to, like, mute us so that they... Like, I forgot no, about no me. No All right, um, Zeke, Pitt. U.S. and World War One, five thousand. We should. Hundred. Five thousand. Okay. So Wait, Wait, Maggie, Maggie you, have you have to go in the meet. Miss Beth, you have to go in the meet. Fourteen. Hey, that is fourteen. She, she said fourteen. You guys are team two. Winners. Wait, All right, back to virtual. Um, Grace, I'm just gonna call Do what? I was gonna let okay. Grace choose one. All right, Grace, choose something. Vocabulary. Two hundred. Oh, well. yeah, Go for it, guys. You vote. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. All right, um, Lily Pitt. No. Okay. Uh, is the armistice or the treaty? It's armistice. Oh, I know. Armistice. 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 All right. Uh, virtual girls, Cam, your turn to choose. Causes of World War One. Five hundred. Finally. I have it. All right, go for it. Um, there was chemical warfare, trench warfare, tanks, and more powerful women. And manufacturing. Holy moly! Yeah. 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 Uh, I'll take what you just said. I like that answer. I didn't even wait too much. It's bigger than a question. Okay. Uh, Kindle pick. And slash post of World War One five hundred. Oh gosh! Did you guys did it? Ooh, this wasn't on the study guide. Alliances for 400. For 400? There's a 500. Sure, we'll do it. Sure, we'll do it. Who did you say that? Because they're losing. I'm helping them. Why were alliances such an important part of the beginning of the war? Someone else wants to know. They. Alliances caused many countries to declare war on each other within days of each other. I think they're looking at And they were important because um, they helped it so that it wasn't um, one country for itself. What? So that um, have you ever, five seconds. Have you ever seen um, have, uh, Look up the answers. <laughs> what do you do? I do? Yes, got it, girls. You should keep on securely and make sure. Hey, they're catching up, guys. No. Okay. Um, Grace and Pitt. Vocabulary four hundred. Militarism. Oh. Alrighty, alright. All right, you nailed it. Militarism. Yeah, boy. Hey. Hey. Uh, can no Grace, it's your turn to pick. Um, <laughs> alliances four hundred. Oh, Germany. Wait, what if it's an audit? What if it was Germany? Nailed it, ladies. Yeah. All right, um, Fiona Pitt. Um. U.S. and World War One four hundred. Oh, um, go to oh, the war. Go, go to the war. draft. Register for the draft. Register for draft. They had a um, register for the draft. Indeed. All right. Um, Cam, it's your turn. Yeah. You're just. Yeah. $2,300. U.S. and World War One three hundred. 
Huh? Oh. 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 Um, in slash code for World War One for What is his more jobs? No, don't. more jobs for them. Why do you get more uh, responsibility because more responsibility, time. more jobs. <laughs> Answers may vary. Um, yes, you're correct. Um, all right. What is what is it means that you guys could say a lot of different things. Right. Like they need to do All right, um, Josie, back to you. Vocab for 300. What the heck do you do? Uh, isolationism. Yep. Separationism. That's not even a thing. Separationism. What is the separation? All right, uh, Sean Pitt. Well, that's just that separation is. Like, someone. That is not on your study guide. That's why I got, like, anywhere. We didn't even learn about that. It mentioned it in, like, one sentence in one of the articles. Which one? Wait, wait, wait. You might want to talk to your team. Wait, are no, we guys? Are we I think it's no, 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 no. Uh, it's tank warfare. Guys, I have weapons. Uh, I got this. Look at Jason with all his documents. I told him to say. Oh, Look at him. This is why I love you with my heart and soul. Okay. okay. So I'm all right. It was Kim. Yeah, we got oh, it. We got you did it. not get it. You guys said everything. Yes, 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 minus. Miss Dev, click minus. Yeah, you were yelling something different. Miss Dev. No, but Kim, I didn't say anything. Miss Dev, I said, I don't. No, give us a minus. Miss Dev, you minus it from Virtual girls, you fight. This is the last one. You got a chance. No, you don't. Um, But anyway, we'll let you take the last one. You guys pick. Grace, I think it's your turn. Get the minus in there. Get away. Who will win? We're not. Um, Cam pick. Doji, somebody pick. Alliance is 300. Alliance is 300. France. Yep. Means. All right, it was a close one. And Miss Dev, you guys both did a great job. They actually won. Do you feel no, ready? If we did not well, count chemical warfare, two. then they did. If I took away chemical warfare. Oh, class! How are you feeling about this test tomorrow? Hopefully, you're feeling pretty good. I'm still talking. Make sure if you weren't feeling too great about some of the things today that you study tonight. If you know everything we talked about today, you will be fine tomorrow. Just make sure that you were comfortable with all the information that we went over today. And do not forget about that map as well, okay? You do have to label a map tomorrow. <laughs> okay. I knew it was chemical warfare because I looked into all of the setting of, of the military and went, there's no gas mask, there's no chemical bombs or anything. No. But I did see tanks, so I wanted to. There you go. It can't be All right, guys. Good job today with the studying, the study guide.